Here's the rule you need to remember. When you see an equation that involves a fraction, get rid of that fraction as soon as possible. We've already talked about one way of getting rid of a fraction, which is by multiplying both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of that fraction. A more common and more versatile way, however, of getting rid of a fraction is to multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator of the fraction. So in the problem you see here, since the denominator of our fraction is 7, we get rid of the fraction by multiplying both sides of the equation by 7. On the left, our 7's cancel, and we have negative 3 minus 5b. On the right, negative 4 times 7 is negative 28. Notice that our fractions are gone, and we're left with a problem that looks just like the ones we were doing in the previous section. Our next step is to isolate the b term by adding 3 to both sides. We get negative 5b equals negative 25. Don't forget to bring down the negative. To get b by itself, divide both sides by negative 5, and b equals positive 5.